Hello everyone, my name is Andy and I am the Resell Chick. Welcome, welcome to my channel, I'm happy to have you. I sell full time on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, and occasionally Amazon. So last night I was scrolling through Poshmark and I decided to make this video, um, I took some notes, I took some notes. I decided to make this video because um, there are some things that I feel should be done when you decide to sell clothing online, whether it be eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, any of those. Well, Amazon's a little different because you have to do the white background. So these are some things that will maximize your profits, maximize your sales if you're selling clothing online. Stick around. So these are things that are going to help maximize your sales, maximize your profits when selling clothing on eBay. The first thing that people see when they do a search is your photo. And you want them to choose your photo over all of the other ones that come up in that search. So your photo should have good lighting, it should be in focus, and it should be aesthetically pleasing to that buyer, which means it's, it should look nice. It should grab that buyer and it should make them stop on your listing so that they can investigate your listing and see what it is about your item that they want. Now I've noticed on Poshmark, um, they're a little bit more artistic on Poshmark. They have like little props, not everybody, but a lot of people have like little props and I think that's great. Um, it, it will make me stop and look. I think it's really pretty. However, the rest of your photos should show the actual item that you're trying to sell. You should be able to see the entire item that you're selling. So if you're selling a pair of jeans, you want them to see the entire pair of jeans. I get really frustrated when I am on Poshmark looking at clothing and there's a picture of the jeans folded in some little way but they never show the entire pair of jeans. Like, I don't know what the ankle looks like. I don't know if there's, you know, distressing in the jean, because I like distressed jeans. I don't know if there's any distressing in the jean. I don't, I don't know. So I need to know these things. I need to see it. So when we take our photos, say jeans, um, I do a front, a back, and then I do um, a close up of like the back, the top back, the butt, I do a close up of the butt and then um, I do like the sizing or the model or for instance if it's a pair of Levi's say the person looks up Levi's 550's and they want Levi's 550's 34 32's so I take I have my photos of the front the back the butt and then I also have a photo of the tag you know the the patch on the back because I want them to see the model number and I want them to see the sizing on that item. Um, the branding, uh, any unique traits of that item, you should take a photo of. Um, I had a pair, I had many pairs of Kooji jeans. I don't know if you know what Kooji jeans are, but they were really popular in the late 80s and early 90s and they're very colorful. Most of them are very colorful. So my main photo, was a picture of the butt of those jeans because the color um, because the detail is across the back of the jean so I wanted them to see that so that was my main photo and then I showed the front the back you know um, the sizing tag all of that um, if you are selling a Tory Burch dress you want them to know that it's Tory Burch so you're gonna take a picture of the label now when you take your photos you don't have to go out and buy anything fancy. I have a backdrop. I have lights right there, but you don't have to have those. As long as you have good lighting in the room where you're taking the photos, you don't need that. You don't need to go out and, you know, when you start reselling, oh, I have to go buy lights. Oh, I have to go buy a backdrop. Oh, I have to go buy whatever. You have to go buy a, a photo box. You really don't. They just need to be clear and they need to be, have good lighting. Um, whether you flat lay, 
whether you hang or whether you use a mannequin, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you prefer to do, as long as those pictures look nice. So when I photograph jeans, I hang them. I have a command hook at the top of, of that back there and um, I hang them. Now, when I do um, like dress shirts or suits, I have this guy right here, that's Jethro. That's Jethro. Um, so Jethro will wear my shirts and then my suits. If I do suits, I will put a shirt and tie underneath the suit and then I will lay the pants over the, the shoulder of, of Jethro. I'll put, a, I'll put a picture right there of, of one of our suits. So that's what we do. Um, I have a female mannequin that just hangs. And I'm going to put some of those up here on Amazon. They're really not that expensive. The problem with them, though, that I've found is they're very small sizes. So I do sell a lot of plus size clothing and they don't really fit. So then you have to get creative and you have to cinch them. Like I have some clips that I cinch them in the back and to make them look like um, like they fit the like they fit, fit the model. So it doesn't matter if what you do, I've seen some flat lays that look really nice. Um, you can, if you don't have a wood floor in your home that, you know, a really nice wood floor, you can go to Home Depot and get a piece of pressed cardboard and put some peel and stick tiles on them or put some contact paper on it. Or you can get a piece of paneling um, they have really pretty white paneling that makes it look like it's, you know, a wood floor or a wall or whatever. Um, I have seen really nice photos that all you need is a blank wall and a command hook. I've seen photos that are taken on the back of a door using the hook on the back of the door, but they're very well lit and they're in focus and they look really nice. So that's my opinion on, you know, on your photos. I feel like that's really important that the person sees the item that they want to buy and they see the entire item. Also, make sure that you're disclosing any flaws that that item has. That's going to save you a return. It's going to save you a lot of headache. Nobody wants to hear that notification and you're like, oh, seriously have PTSD from when we first started selling and I was making a lot of mistakes. And that noise to me meant return. It was going to be a return and I hate that sound still to this day. Very rarely do we get returns, but when I hear that sound, I'm like, ah, I don't like it. So that's what I feel about photos. That's how I feel about, um, when you post your photos online. The next thing are measurements. If you are selling clothing, you should be including measurements in your listing. I have templates and I'll put one up right here. I have a template. I think this is a shirt template. Um, I have templates that I use for shirts and dresses and then ones that I use for shorts and um, like pants, jeans, whatever. And then I have like just miscellaneous that, uh, but it, our store is called the Upcyclery. And so it says, welcome to the Upcyclery. And, um, and then I have the material, like if it's 100% cotton, if it's 98% cotton, 2% spandex, whatever, because some people want to know that. And it takes, you know, a couple seconds to put that in there. Um, I put the color because sometimes the color does not translate. I've had people think that even though my listing said dark blue wash on my jeans, they thought they were black jeans because they were dark. The photo wasn't dark, but the, it's like a, the indigo blue and they're really dark. And he wanted to return. Even though it said blue, he wanted to return because he thought they were black. So I always put the color in the listing and we know, we all know that people don't freaking read. They don't read that stuff, but it gives me peace of mind that it's in there in case they want to return it later for item not as described or whatever. And it also, some people do want to know it and it saves time them sending you messages to find out what the measurements are. So when I measure, say I'm measuring a pair of jeans, I measure laying flat across I, I measure um, the rise and I measure the inseam. 
and then like a shirt I will do pit to pit I will do the sleeve and I will do um, the length now I have and it's getting dark out so I don't know if you'll be able to see this I have this taped to my table so that when I measure stuff all I have to do is just lay it down and I can measure it and it's really fast I have seen people use a measuring tape and take a photo with the measuring tape on there I think that's great as long as there's measurements in your listing I just feel like it's irresponsible as a reseller to just you know put your clothes up there and, and don't let them know um, I get really frustrated when I go on Poshmark to buy jeans that's what I was looking for the other day or yesterday as a matter of fact um, when I go on Poshmark to buy jeans and they don't have any measurements in there I'm short I need short jeans I need short people jeans and I like stretchy jeans and I like skinny jeans and normally you can see that they're skinny jeans but if they don't have a full-length photo I can't see if they're skinny if they're boot cut if they're you know I need to look at those jeans and I need to see if those are what I'm looking for and I want to know what the inseam is I need to see what the waistband measures you know laying flat across I need to see that because I need to know if they're going to fit me because Poshmark does not have return policy um, I mean if it's item not as described you can usually return it but they don't return fit issues you're you're like too bad so sad um, if they don't fit that's your own fault so when people don't include measurements it's frustrating and I have asked people for measurements like the inseam measurement before and they've never gotten back to me so that was a little frustrating um, yeah so those are just a few things that because um, was kind of heavy on my mind uh, when I was scrolling through Poshmark last night um, I really wish that I had known that when I first started selling uh, our, our first photos were terrible they were absolutely terrible and once I got my backdrop um, I went through and re-photographed everything because they were absolutely terrible I had terrible lighting I took them in my basement so I didn't have a window um, to put in natural light so it was just terrible they were terrible and I wish someone had I wish I had seen a video to sh to tell me you know what kind of photos should I be doing I mean you think it's common sense but you know you don't know if you're just starting out you don't know so yeah so that's just my two cents that's you know my opinions and and my two cents on how I think you could maximize your sales if you're selling clothing on eBay and I feel like as I said we have a responsibility to the customer that if we are selling clothing uh, we need to give them the best customer service possible I just really believe that so think what you will but that's those are my opinions but I really really feel strongly about that thanks for sticking with me and listening to my rant was it really a rant was it was it really a rant I don't feel like it was a rant so thanks for tuning in. If you liked this content, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Go follow me on Instagram. It's at resell underscore chick. I hope everyone has a great evening. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later.